Hey guys, we're pretty much right back to where we were, save a little bit of difference. I'll go ahead and explain that so you're not confused. Um, that's not where my level is. I'm level 33 now, and the reason I went up and did a few level ups is because we were about to get something really nice that is a lot better if you're level 33. I'll explain it when we actually get it, but for now we're going to clear house and murder everyone in here. Can. I think we can. Alright. Probably have something equipped in my offhand. Do I have sword? That'd be awesome. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just equip another dagger. That'll work. Close that door. Stupid bees and their stupid. I cannot best you! Done. I'm gonna miss not being able to take these people out in one hit. It's not like it really matters, but... Alright. Let's go ahead and unbar this door. Oh, we can't unbar this door, really? Yeah, locked into place. That sucks. Went in here. I know I heard at least one other person. But to refresh your memory, in case you have forgotten where we're at right now, we are currently in the Guildmaster's house. After he decided to steal literally everything from the Thieves' Guild coffer. And we're looking for some evidence to pin on him about where he might have gone. After, um... His great heist. I'm definitely taking that statue. Freaking valuable. But they never wait. Okay, that guy. I think he might be talking to someone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in this back corner. I'm going to zoom in. On... I'm going to pot shot him. Well, I was hoping to do it from across the room, but apparently not. And who's there? One more. Done and done. Yeah, it works. Also, I noticed on some of my playthroughs, this house, for whatever reason, is incredibly buggy. And it's kind of a hit or miss about that shopping list. Milk goat, cheese turnips, cauterizing agent. <laughs> That's a funny joke. I like it. Uh, suspicious cabinets. False back panel. Hello. We'll go in there in a second. Can't open that door bar either. Damn. It's in this wardrobe. He's got random money stashed everywhere. I'm cool with that, man. It's on this. Nord's Arise. Was Mercer a Nord? I don't remember. This appears to be his pantry. I have so tempted to take his sweet roll, but I'll leave it where it is. I want to save as much inventory space as possible because we are going to be looting a lot of valuables. At least I assume a lot of valuables out of the downstairs. So, considering that I want to hold as much inventory space to myself as possible, I'm just not going to go crazy with looting. Grab that, though. Appears to be a slightly rare alchemical ingredient because I don't remember ever seeing it. But hey, what do I know? I don't like go out and pick flowers every now and then just because I get bored. Let's see. More stuff in here. Ah, here we go. And this place is probably going to be trapped. So let's keep an eye on the ground. Oh, these are nice job, Serena. You uh, you balled that. With these pl pressure plates, the ones with the black stars are the ones that uh, actually activate. Hmm. 
course, now I need to set off this panel. Otherwise, Serena's probably going to set it off. So, let's see, what can I do to set off this panel? I guess I can just shoot it. Yeah, it worked. All right. <laughs> You're so bad. All right. This way. Oh shit! Is that a pressure plate? Oh, it must have been hidden or something. Oh my god, this is pretty bad. E. Okay, let's go to our third person view. And... Oh my god, this is awful. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to dodge these first two blade traps and then I can probably skirt to a side. Whew! Oh my god. Right, that one actually has a bit of a delay on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait... And run! Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! <laughs> Got stuck on the chandelier. Damn. All right, Serena. Come on. You can do it. Or maybe you can't. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't take pleasure in watching that happen. Oh, this is what you get for breaking my stealth all those times. You just you have fun with that. Okay. What do we got in here? Sick. Shit! Ow, 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 pain, ow, fuck, ow. Damn it. I should have known that freaking door was trapped. Oh, God. Let's drink one of those. Let me get a healing potion. Ah, oh, damn. Wish I could drink that. I might give that to Serena, see if she ever uses it. Uh... I still poisoned? Hang on. I've got a cure poison potion. Yeah, I fixed that. Alright, awesome. Whew, that was a mess. Chilrin's display case. Chilrin? Yes, I want that. That sounds awesome. Especially considering daggers are pretty much useless for me right now. It'd be nice to have a new sword. So let's get this badass out of his case. <laughs> Damn it. I've got 65 chances. I mean, it's gonna happen eventually here. Son of a bitch. At least I have the kind of place. Oh, that one's close. Ah, oh, crap! Oh my god. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. There we go, awesome. Take Chilrend. What's Chilrend do? So we have the Nightingale Blade. Chilrend. 20 points of frost damage, chance to paralyze the target for two seconds. Awesome! That 20 points and Nightingale Blade is 15 points. How badass do we look? Oh, pretty freaking badass, dude. Let's put these away. Unless the Argonian maid. The Red Kitchen Reader. Books. What's that? Yeah. That's a good one. That's one we haven't read yet. Many thanks. I am not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from ca Castle Door to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis, and lock the ar armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle locked chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. He has a lot of tricks, but anyway... We're gonna take that, and I don't need to re read the Lusty Argonian Maid. Oh, a bust of the Gray Fox. I'm taking that, too. And a lot of gems. Man! 
My hunch was right about him having a lot of crap. Here we go. Take all that. Yellow Book of Riddles, Book of Day, and fire, small sack. Okay. Things chest. Sweet. All right. Well, we got a lot of cool shit. Let's get out of here. I'm assuming there's a shortcut down this way. The Ratway Vaults. Oh. Oh. He has a way into the Ratway from his house, apparently. Oh, wait, I recognize this. Man, if I just have a grappling hook, I'd be able to get through things so much you know easier. No, Serena, don't piss that off. Get away from it. You don't know where it's been. Silly woman. Anyway. Stabbed in the bank. It's like the dog brother all over again. What? Okay, whatever. Um. Can't talk long. Gotta keep my eyes open. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, actually, you found this bus of the Grey Fox. Well, well, I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. Must have come from Mercer's place. He'd admired the Grey Fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy it from you. Here you are. Sweet. This is getting dangerous. Don't let it jump on you. I hear a lot of noises, jeez. That reminds me though, actually. For some reason, I remembered putting on... I wish that, I wish this, this had been brought to my attention. Um, audio, no. Display. General subtitles, dialogue subtitles. You guys, I could have turned those on for you. It wouldn't have been a big deal. Gotta keep my eyes out. I know, I know, sometimes you can't really hear what's going on in-game, but I try to re remember to turn all the subtitles on so you can at least read what's going on. Because my audio kind of fluctuates between recordings. Sometimes I get background noise, sometimes I don't. But, um, I do the best I can. Hi, Bryn. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Well, I found this awesome sword and these plants. Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Then we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Oh shit! Kalaya! What's up? I promise you, all your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Okay. I'll trust you. Even though I have really no reason to. Laya said it was important. I'm waiting! She's right here, God! Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. A yelp. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Riften, beyond the southeast gate, is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing and an old standing stone. Ask you both to meet me there. Okay. I have some preparations of my own today. We need to go to the Standing Stone outside of Riften, and hopefully, we won't all get killed by Carlia, who was secretly a double agent the whole time. Oh. 
Wow, that's actually a ways out of Riften. Damn. So, I guess we can just leave out of the gate. Which is this gate right here? Is this a gate? No. Just a random door. Apparently it leads to nowhere. Okay!